Welcome and bienvenue, welcome, bienvenidos, benvenuti, benvindos to our latest video here at Ergon Cards. Today we have for you Tops Big League Baseball 2023. So this is the entry level, level product for Tops right now. They have stopped doing uh, Tops opening day. So right now this is the cheapest collection you, have, you can find. I think it's just, as you will see when we open the cards, this is very fun. Uh, mostly for children or if you're beginning as a collector so you don't spend that much money it's very colorful once again i think it's uh it's set up for for kids more than more than hardcore collectors but it's a fun set to have it's uh it's a very small one 200 cards very very well packed and it comes with a trick there's like one parallel every pack that will continue the set then one per box and then like one per case so best rookies are hidden behind those uh, very short short print cards which is not a good thing at times but so you get a corbin carroll or adley rushman is uh, it's a major major hit there's no autograph per box but once again it's not really that expensive you can find around 50 to 60 euros in the in europe and much less in in the us so you got 18 packs, 8 cards per pack, so you need more than one box to, to do the collection, but then again, this is just a fun rip. So let's, let's begin, let's see if we can actually pull a good hit out of this, let's do it this way. So it still can happen, but it's not very, it's not very likely, it's just going to be a fun colorful entry level set so once again if you're new to collecting or if you want to have uh, introduce your kids into baseball card collecting toss big league is a, is a product that you want it's uh, not going to cost you a lot of money unlike other other sets and you still can have very nice cards very nice pulls so i think you get an autograph every two or three boxes so maybe, maybe we'll be lucky and be able to pull one. But let's face it, it's not within the expectations. This is not really a product that you're going to look for a lot of autographs. So let's open the first pack, see what it, uh, see what it brings, show you the cards. So very nice design, very... Very simple, back of the car also very simple, just uh, some of the stats, few facts about the player. And that's it, just very, very sober, very simple uh, design, which I really like, to be fair. I like the logo, it looks very cartoonish. So I got CJ Abrams, Pasquantino. So, the first insert is going to be Alex Breckman City Slicker. So this is an insert based on the on all the City Connect uniforms. So a very nice one. So this is a promo that become a big leaguer. It's kind of interesting. So you can see you can scan the QR code to enter your code and then uh, competition rules. Chance you get on top big league car in the 2024 release. So maybe send this out for a kid somewhere. Mine is way too young. I think one year old is not going to happen, but might actually do it. We got Hunter Green. So this is a continuation of the set. You can see card number is 2029. Don't remember if it's 2200, sorry, <laughs> to, to, to 250 or to, 200, uh, to 300. But the set will continue on this. Uh, so you have the base cards, then the set will continue on these silver foil parallels. Then continue in blue parallels and I think red parallels. And I'm not sure if there's one in between or another one, but uh, what I was saying, it's not a it's not an easy set to build. So the base 200, yes, those should be quite easy and probably a fun one to, to make. However, more than that, it's just not going to be it's not going to be easy to do. Just gonna either spend a lot of money buying boxes hopefully to find these uh, parallels or spending a lot of money in ebay finding them because they will be they will be very rare 
and I'm not sure how much it goes for now, but I think uh, uh, Gunnar Henderson or Matthew Watchman, it's gotta be, it's gotta be an expensive car. So this is 2023, meaning the rookies that we are looking for: Corbin Carroll, Adi Watchman, Gunnar Henderson. Uh, Michael Harris, obviously, at Rookie of the Year, this year, and uh, then, well, for me, Tristan Casas, Miguel Vargas, also very good ones that we look for. So, unlike 2022, which uh, rookie class was kind of weak, this year uh, they have a very nice rookie, car, rookie class, so I think in all that... Uh, all these collections like Big League, like uh, Top Series Tabs, Gipsy Queen, whenever it comes out, if it comes out, because I haven't heard anything about that. All of these uh, base collections that we get are going to be really good, because they're going to be packed with, uh, with very good prospects. And some of them, or lots of them, will have this, uh, always have rookie autographs. So last year, for example, there were like two good rookies out of uh, 50. So the possibilities of getting a good autograph were very small. This year, I think it's around 10 out of 50. So that's always good. Proves your opportunities. That's Steve Kwan. Seiyo Suzuki, like this car. This is one of the inserts here. Looks like a early Nintendo baseball game kind of thing. So it's very nice. Hey, retro. Jose Abreu. Uh, silver foil, so this one 2,217. What's wrong with me? Chris Jimenez, Ryan McDonald, Jonathan India, Carl Wright, William Adams. So we got an Ichiro. Hello, Nemesis. No, hello, my name is my bad. So a roll call for Ichiro. Really like this one. You can see. So Brian Bello, rookie car. Uh, the Silver Foil Parallels, very cool. William Contreras, Edwin Diaz, Sal Grinke, David Villar, Bobby Thompson. Uh, sorry, it was kind of off camera. So that's very nice. We got uh, Adley Rochman here in the, what's the name of this one? I don't know, a big leaf 21, I think it's just big leaf. But it's kind of uh, like a cereal box kind of thing. So. Very nice car. Being an ugly Rushman, I will consider this good enough to leave it here in the podium for you guys to see. You know, Christopher Morel rookie car. So 210. I think because I think you can you can also build a set of uh, silver foils, not going to be that bad. However, more than that is just gonna make it almost impossible. So we got City Slickers of Luis Robert. Very nice uh, City Connect uniform for the White Sox. Love and hope. Very nice rookie. Sadly, probably out for the year. And he really had a nice start of his career. We got Shohei Otani on 8 bit bowlers. Very nice. O'Neill Cruz, another one that had a very bad injury. So we got a uh, blue foil of uh, Rafael De Beers. So you get one per box and it's a 267. I mean, silver should on 50. Very nice car, really like it. The City Connect uniform. So as a Red Sox fan, very happy that my one per box is going to be Rafael Devers. It's going to be your, it's going to be your guy for a long, long time. Amazing, amazing hitter, really, really good ball player. So roll call for Juan Soto. He really likes these cards. What I was telling you at the beginning, this is a thing aimed for, for younger people. <laughs> I mean, I'm old. And, well, just young collectors, just kids out there. So it's very colorful, very, very nice looking cards. And to be fair, if you're starting, I think you're more than happy to also to also do this because it's a, it's a beautiful set. It's kind of fun. If you want to start buying baseball cards, I will consider recommending you this instead of a uh, main top set or anything, because I'm pretty sure you'll have fun. So, another City Slicker card. This one's another rookie card of Corbin Carroll. So, so far, so good. I did not expect to have too many things on the 
the podium here, but this is very nice. Got uh, probably the Rafael lever should go there too, but we'll see. So we're gonna have to stop the video. We'll continue this later. So got the Alejandro here. There. So we are back again. Hopefully I will edit this in a way that looks good. But let's see. So let's do something. I was telling you that maybe we should put the divers in a, in a podium, and I think we will. And I'm not sure if we have an orange card. So if we have an orange card, that will also have to be coming here because that's even a, a weirder one. I also got a couple of uh, blaster boxes. I will open those in a different video. See what's going to be the difference between one or the other. So what's going to be more valuable for you and more fun. So got Alejandro Kier and Julio Rodriguez. Always good to continue to collect him. Sean Manaya, Wayne Wright, Brandon Lowe. So see the slicker of Freddie Freeman. Really love these cards. Luis Robert. So that's good. Kind of got a bread patty. Couldn't, couldn't help myself how to look. <laughs> My job, thank you, Chris Taylor. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So I might cover it. I was covering the rookie car logo. So kind of cool. Really kind of cool. Got uh, another, another really nice rookie car. So, so far so good. We got uh, inserts of uh, Rushman, Batty and uh, Corbin Carroll. So cannot really complain with that. Uh, with those hits, it's very nice. One thing I have noticed, uh, both with Bowman and with uh, Big League, is that uh, uniforms have been updated. You got Eric Cosmer with, uh, with the Cubs, that's very nice. Uh, so also, well, all these uh, Japanese players like uh, Askodei Senga and Masakata Yoshida that are with uh, collections here, so kind of different from what tops usually do. So I'm not sure if it's the influence of fanatics or it's just a, or it's just a coincidence there, but uh, I'm happy to see that. Sometimes, uh, last year, for example, Brandon Marsh, even on the update uh, collections, we didn't get him with the Phillies, which was kind of strange. So. I like to see that they are putting the players in the good uniform quite quickly. Then again, everything seems to be delayed this year. So, like now we are in May and we have not seen more collections coming our way from 2023. Just uh, Series 1, Big League, and Bowman. So, the year has been kind of weird in that sense, has been really slow. So let's see, let's see, that might be one of the reasons. Oh, we got some color here, yeah, much more fun. So, Yo Ryan, I think he's going to be one of the candidates for Cy Young this year. Sturdy Ruiz, Peter Downs. We got Joey Boto, it's the same one of the Athlete Rushman. So pretty much like I say, cereal box kind of thing. Really big fan of Joey Boto, so that one goes to my personal collection. Aaron Nola, Ian Anderson, sorry, Tony Edman, Brian Reynolds, Chris Sale, Mackenzie Gore. So we got the same bit of Bobby Wood Jr., very nice. Dansby Swanson, you see, already with the Cubs. That's kind of cool when all these uh, free agent signings are with their current current teams. Kelnick, who is finally seemed to have broken out, which is great. Uh, this is going to be a really special player. So we got a uh, Roberto Clemente one. This is kind of cool. Don't think Clemente ever imagined his name written in graffiti style, but that's really, really kind of nice. Alec Manoa. Got Mukivets, Josh Naylor, Tyler Anderson, Chapman. Shane McClanahan, who is once again, going to be one of the main candidates for the Cy Young. He's such an amazing pitcher. So, my uh, Manny Machado with San Diego. Very, let's put it here. It's a really funny uniform, this one. Look very Miami Vice kind of thing. So, I like Burleson, Rookie Car. So, 
We got this insert thing, it's one per box too, we got the Pirate Parrot. The most fun part of opening day to me was collecting these mascots. So, kind of cool to have this one. Carlos Carrasco, Dalton Barshow, Rick Detmers, Josh Smith, Tyler Freeman. So we got zero box of Bobby Witt, it'd be all eh, very nice cards. I'm really enjoying this. I'm thinking, I'm happy I got the, the blaster boxes. That'll be, that'll be a fun one to, to continue opening there. It's very good job with this set. I'm um, surprised I have enough hits to show. That's the one part I didn't, didn't expect. But uh, it's quite colorful, it's really fun cards, so I really think it's a good good set. We got rookie card of Ivan Herrera, Shoyotani, Kelly Jansen, Syndergaard, Flaherty, oops, Simeon, Aros Arena, so we got another Devers, maybe Pete Bowlers, very nice. Okay, Cavalli rookie card, it's out for the year. Longoria Soto. A kind of cool photo for one Soto there. Not sure he's gonna be able to do that too much right now. <laughs> so we got Masa Taka Yoshida. Keep saying Kata instead of Taka. Gotta learn that one. So I think it's his first card because he quickly came through for Bowman. So that's the first rookie card of Masa Taka Yoshida. Could be an important player for the Red Sox. Oh, Andrew McCutcheon. So this is a Bo Jackson. Very kind of cool. Bo Jackson. A Trevor Story. I got an ace for the Blue Jays. So two mascots per box, not one. Very nice. Connor Joe and Jose City closes the video. So this is it. This is uh, Todd's Big League. Full of insert, full of color, full of very fun looking cards. So I will recommend this to anyone, uh, even if you're a hardcore collector, it's still a fun set to make. So it's not gonna cost you too much money. Um, well, you might have unexpected hits. Not sure this goes way too pricey on eBay, but kind of very nice when you can pull a both a Corbin Carroll and a Nabi Rushman out of these boxes. So once again, I will recommend this to any collector, especially newcomers, but this is a really fun set. This is something that you might want to look at and and try. So not too expensive. If you don't want to go for the hobby box, we'll see the blaster boxes, how they look like. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoy the video. You like and subscribe and uh, have a lovely rest of the day. Bye bye.